In this video, I'm going to show you how to answer the 2023 VC Maths Method Sample Exam 1, Question 2. We've got consider the function f and g, where f and g is defined by the given rules. State the range of f. Looking at the rule of f of x, this is going to be a parabola shifted 9 units down, and is defined for its entire domain. And so the range of f of x is going to be from minus 9, where minus 9 is inclusive, to infinity. Determine the rule for the equation and state the domain of the function f of g of x. f of g of x is going to be f of the square root of x. And so this is going to be the square root of x all squared minus 9, which is going to equal x minus 9. Now the domain of f of g of x is going to equal the domain of the inner function. The inner function is g of x and we're told that its domain is from 0 to infinity. And so therefore the domain is going to be x values from 0 to infinity, where 0 is inclusive. Let h be the function h of x equals x squared minus 9. Determine the maximal domain d such that g of h of x exists. For g of h of x to exist, then we want the range of the inner function, which is h of x, to equal or be a subset of the domain of the outer function, which is g of x. In other words, we want the range of h of x to equal or be a subset from 0 to infinity. And so looking at the graph of x squared minus 9, the values where the function is going to be from 0 to infinity is going to be in these regions. The x-intercepts of this function is going to be at minus 3 and at 3. And so this means that we need to restrict h of x to have the domain from minus infinity to minus 3 inclusive or from 3 to infinity, where 3 is inclusive. And so with this restricted domain, g of h of x is going to exist. And that's it for this question. Now if you guys want to practice or learn exam style questions similar to this one, then log into the Maths Methods Club, where you can group past Maths Methods exam questions by topic. All you have to do is click on functions and graphs from the main topics and then select composite functions from the subtopics. Go to question type and select tech free and then click on filter. This is then going to instantly group all the past maths methods exam questions related to composite functions in exam 1. Go through these questions and see how you go. And if you get stuck, you can just watch the video solutions. Good luck and I'll see you guys in the next video.